Vertical gardens have been around and in fashion for many years and it's easy to understand why when you come across some beautiful examples just like this one. Many urban homes can have limited space to create a garden, but having a vertical garden is one of the best solutions to making a small space green again. This vertical garden is located in Melbourne's South Bank. I love the selection of plants that have been used. There's a mixture of colours and textures which make this wall so interesting. There are so many amazing plants to choose from when creating a green wall. So here are my top five. If you're wanting to create a lush, tropical-inspired feature wall, try using beautiful Spathophyllum, which has large, glossy leaves. One of my absolute favourite plants to use is the hare's foot fern, as it has a fantastic sprawling habit and it will hug the walls where you need it to. Next is the goldfish plant, which has these miniature, vibrant orange flowers which bloom late summer through to mid-autumn. Philodendrons are another great plant to use to fill the space of a wall quickly. They produce these long arms with vibrant green leaves. Lastly, the ponytail palm has this fantastic bulbous trunk with elongated green leaves. Here is another great idea. You can create a culinary wall of herbs that are ready to be picked whenever you're cooking up a meal. Just make sure to have your living wall in a nice sunny position if you're growing any edibles. Greenery on a hard landscape can be incredibly productive in cooling and in adding valuable oxygen into the environment we live. Imagine if all buildings had a green wall like this one from top to bottom.